Good morning, guys. I am at my OBGYN office to have my ultrasound done, ultrasound done today. I'm having a transvaginal ultrasound to check for endometriosis because I have painful periods. Like the day before that my period comes, like I'm excruciating pain, like to where I black out. So he was like, um, that doesn't sound normal. So I'm here to check that. Also to check my ovaries um, and just kind of see what's going on there. Obviously I had an ultrasound back in Pensacola that showed me I had cysts on my ovaries, but he wanted to clarify because I said I didn't have the best experience with them. And then I have another appointment with him today. So like I have my ultrasound at 11 and then I have an appointment with him at 11.30 to go over the ultrasound and kind of decide what we want to do, which is nice because in the last doctor's office they didn't do ultrasounds in office i had to go to like almost like a lab corp like for blood work like how you would go to a blood bank or not blood bank a blood place to give blood and then they send the results it's the same concept in pensacola when i was there but here it's in office and so i can just get the results right after my last appointment i didn't bring lilia with me but this time she's with me because i just didn't want to leave her with my mom and I'm meeting with my sister after to have lunch together and so Lily and her can play on the playground but we have to go to my doctor's appointment we are a little bit early which I'd rather be early than late I'm really really nervous um I'm on this is my third day taking ovulation tests so two days after taking Femera so I wonder if they'll be able to see if like oh, my ovaries yeah. are where they're supposed to be um but yeah let's go ahead and go inside and see what happens today guys my camera is literally like on the camera. verge of yes it's camera um it's like not sticky so my doctor was running an hour and a half behind schedule so i got my ultrasound done because it's ultrasound tech but at like 12 15 he still was behind schedule my appointment's at 11 30 and lilia was getting antsy she was getting hungry it was getting close to nap time so i have a telehealth appointment tonight between 5 and 6 p.m where they're just going to call me and he's going to go over the results with me and i figured that was just the best bet so now we're waiting for my sister to get here to where she works we are going it's confusing like she has a store and they have a warehouse she works at the way warehouse meeting her at the store um so that um we can go get lunch and then they can go to the park but yeah it's very busy for a small town in the middle of the freaking mountains but i think she's gonna be here shortly because she just asked me where i was parked but yeah I hope that my I'm supposed to meet Marisa down at the gym tonight at like five so I probably be in the gym when he calls me but luckily it's the YMCA so it's easy to just step out of the different areas help wherever we are so I can take my call help me, help me. we're gonna wait for TT can you say where's TT where is she I don't see her yet but she's getting stuff for my mom to take to Vienna because my mom's going to Vienna for like a bereavement trip um and she leaves Thursday so that's going to be fun I have to drive her all the way to Charlotte which is almost three hours from here and then me and Lilia have to drive all the way back up here which is another three hours so it's going to be like a six hour round trip drive um to drop my mom off at the airport I guess that's one of like the cons of living in the middle of nowhere is that there's no airport at least when we were in Jackson obviously we were close to an airport and um if Mauricio chooses to up apply well he is gonna apply for the FAA and just see where they would send him sorry I keep looking to make sure my sister's not coming and like waiting on me but um if we get somewhere that we enjoy then we might do the FAA because I think that he just has a bad taste in his mouth from Jackson but anyways the convenient thing about his job is that we were we would always be near an airport or some sort of air space uh you know to get onto a plane but i don't know i have no idea what the future holds for us right now we're kind of like up in the air um i think we have some options and some things that we there's like different options that we agree oh there's my sister Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. I just got my blood work done to check my progesterone to see if I ovulated. Um, I hope I find out the results today. 
but if not today today is friday so probably monday but now we're gonna go spend the day with my sister and just do some fun things i think we're going to like a dinosaur themed park and also um going to a children's museum so i'm super excited just to have a fun day out with lilia and keep my mind off of it um because honestly it makes me nervous and i don't know if i did or not i was tracking but i could never confirm um that i actually did so hopefully the blood work will tell me tell us but yeah let's go to tt and toto's house i just woke up my lab results are in my register so over three means violation occurred over 10 is considered good I know that we would never work I know that someone would get hurt I think I have to let you go Should be easy But it's not Cause the problem is I love you What to do? I count to three when you're next to me I love you What to do now? Do now Problem is I love you. What to do? You got me bound in my world spin round. I love you. What to do now? I want you. I love you, I love you 